What's up, guys? Welcome back. Today, you know what it's going to be about. It's going to be about the title of this podcast, which is reverse engineering your best days and also reflecting on your worst days so that you can reduce them as much as possible. So this is something that I'm recently learning. And whenever I recently learn something, I just have to share it with you guys because that means it's working for me. And I want to provide you with techniques and solutions that are going to work for you too. So basically, this one is covering reverse engineering your best days and what that basically means in a nutshell is it's breaking down because we have some of us will have these amazing days we're like dang today was a good day and you're just energized energized that was a weird way of pronounce that you're just energized you're excited you're stoked at the end of the day you just feel like you have way more charisma way more euphoria way more happiness way more gratitude so what you want to do on those days is you want to reverse engineer them you want to figure out everything that you did that day you want to break down everything that you personally did yourself you want to also keep track of you know the things outside of yourself that happened that contributed to this amazing day of yours but you want to also make sure that you're breaking down what you did and the reason that we're reverse engineering our best days is so that we can re-implement what we did so that we can hopefully recreate our best day again and again and again. And every day could be a new best day. That's what we want. Is it possible? Heck freaking yeah. Will you have the best day ever every single day, even if you implement those things that helped you create the best day ever? No, that was a lot to say. I think that made sense, right? Right? I hope so. Basically what I meant by that though is you're not gonna always have the best day ever, even if you implement strategies that helped you previously have the best day ever. So that's why you wanna reverse engineer. So reverse engineering is really starting at the beginning of your day. What did I do from the second I woke up? Chances are, if you had the best day ever, you probably did something you don't usually do at the very beginning of your day. You probably did something that you're not used to doing. You probably did something that was super uncomfortable. For me, sometimes when I have to reverse engineer my best days, and I'm starting to do this recently, so it's not like I've been doing this a lot, but something that is a common theme for my best days is waking up early, waking up before anyone else has control to alter my mood. So it's really easy if you're the last one to wake up and everyone's already in a bad mood. That is gonna be so hard to bounce back, especially if you have to be in the same environment as them all day. So that's why it's gonna be super important for you to actually wake up before everyone else so that way you can take your time, make breakfast, go at your own pace, and also practice gratitude. It gives you time to wake up, get whatever you gotta get, chug your water, get your breakfast in, and then practice gratitude. That is another common theme for me. I'm like, all right, I started that morning off grateful, but not just grateful. I started off, I was really pushing to think of things that actually made me excited to be grateful for. So just some examples that I can think of off the, off the top of my head is, I'm honestly very grateful that I have the ability to hear it because I'm listening to some songs that are making me feel super freaking happy. So I'm just blessed and grateful that I have the ability to hear you know, opposed to being deaf, you know, deaf people would have to be grateful for other things, you know, maybe that's their more powerful ability to have super conscious awareness, because now they have less senses. So they're able to focus in on their other senses, such as feeling um, and sight, you know what I mean? So basically, that's what you want to do. There's a lot I can go into, I can go really deep into this podcast, but I'd rather create just a part two on this as long as you guys like this one. So Please let me know, reach out. Let me know if you want me to create a part two of this. Basically, I'm just making a short one because I want you to know that you can recreate your best days. You just have to do what you did on those days. You have to reflect what behaviors did you implement. My best days, aside from gratitude in the mornings and waking up early before everybody else, is also implementing exercise. Today I did a film shoot, so I got my exercise at my film shoot. I didn't even hit the gym today. Exercise doesn't mean you have to go kill yourself at the gym for an hour. Like shoot, even if you go on a 10, 15, 20 minute run, even if you go on a speed walk, do something that's gonna make you sweat a little bit because that sweat is what detoxifies your system. That sweat also pumps out some endorphins. Endorphins are head highs. So you also are getting your body into better shape. You're getting a little, little head high from those endorphins from that workout or from that exercise. And then on top of that, you're detoxifying the bad stuff in your system because you're sweating it out. So that has a lot of perks too. So there's a lot that you can do, but aside from working out, waking up early and gratitude, praying has helped a lot for me. And on top of that, getting healthy has helped out in 
insane amounts. I think that one is a huge one. Gratitude and prayer and eating healthy are massive. Like if you are to just eat healthy, completely like eating healthy isn't even what you think it is because 98% of the stuff on the shelves are not healthy. Even the things that say they're healthy aren't healthy. It's so unfair. But once you do keen in and focus in on what's actually healthy and if you need someone to point you in the right direction, hit up my fiance. She is the one who brainwashed good health into my brain, which is great because, you know, I used to be that guy who would get upset or annoyed when she'd pick up the back of the, pick up the box and look at the label and tell me that's not healthy. I would get so upset. I'd be like, what the frick do you mean that's not healthy? It says organic. It says low sugar. I get so upset because I loved my food. You know what I mean? But I, I eventually realized, unfortunately, most of the stuff on ourselves, even the things that say organic are not actually healthy healthy. There's so many additives. There's so many preservatives. There's so many ingredients in there that you can't even name. So eating unhealthy will definitely contribute to one of your worst days, but eating healthy, let me tell you, you will feel like you are on crack. You will have so much focus. You will have so much energy. It's going to be amazing. But yes, basically there's a lot that can contribute to your worst days and there's a lot that can contribute to your best days. But in order to maximize your best days, you need to think about the best days you've had and think, what did I do on those days? Because the actions you took ultimately contribute to why you did have a great day because you put yourself in circumstances where you would feel good. You did things that would make you feel good. You did things for other people that made them feel good, which led to you feeling good. You know, there's a bunch of different things, but you do have to just reverse engineer the process. What did you do on your bad days that probably caused those bad days? And then what did you do on those good days that caused the good days? It's as simple as that. Break it down, write those things down. And I promise you, you will have and see dramatic differences in your health, in your mental state, in your energy levels. It's going to be insane. But that's my little rant for the day is reverse engineer your best days so that you can recreate them. Aside from that, thank you for listening. If you guys have any questions based off what I have spoke about today, then please let me know. But aside from that, I appreciate you listening. You are a boss. You are awesome. You are loved. You are wonderful. You are perfect. You are the way that you should be. Can we always improve? Yes but you are exactly as you should be in this moment because that's going to be how you get to that next level. Being in this state and realizing where you are at is going to help you to go and level yourself up, improve certain things, be aware of other things. But yeah, aside from that, you're awesome. Continue to be awesome. And I love you. I will talk to you guys in the next one.